what is going on everybody welcome to coding with t i'm happy to inform you that we are bringing a brand new tutorial series for you this year on android studio in this series we will build a food delivery app from scratch you will get to explore some really cool features of android studio in the videos that are to come let me quickly show you the demo of today's tutorial so here we have a splash screen with this animation in the beginning and then this transition from splash screen to the onboarding activity next you can see this stunning liquid animation effect on our onboarding screen. For splash screen assets, I have this image for background which is merely a blend of two images, nothing fancy. The other thing is this animation which we can implement by using Lottie library. In case you are wondering what Lottie is, it is a library developed by Airbnb company. We will use it by downloading it in JSON format. You can rename it as you wish. For the time being, you don't need to have complete knowledge about what JSON is. We will also cover JSON in the videos that are about to come. But if you know about JSON, I have a simple question for you. Tell me in the comment section that what does JSON stand for and why we use it our XML. Before we jump into the Android Studio technicalities, I would like to put it out there that if you want your own customized app built by a team of professional developers, feel free to contact us. There is a link in the description box below with all our contact details. Alright, without any further ado, let's get started. Our project is all set up and now it's time to work on some aesthetics. Yes, I am pointing to the theme color of our app. You can pause the screen and copy these colors or you can use your own customized colors. Then go to build.gradle module app and add the loaded dependency. I will link the github link of this dependency down into the description box and then sync the project. Then create a new directory. Set its type to raw and click OK. Then go to the download folder where you downloaded your Lottie animation. Drag this, oops, drag and drop it in here. Click OK. Then go to drawable directory and then go to your downloaded folder and drag and drop the assets for your project. After this, we have to create a new empty activity. New activity and empty activity. Rename it to introductory activity and hit finish. Now we want our app to start from introductory activity and not from main activity. For this, cut this intent filter and paste it between here. Now go to introductory activities XML and follow the code. First of all, I will add a background image as I'm using the constraint layout. So first of all, I will constrain it to its parent, bottom to the bottom of parent and top to the top of parent. Its width should be wrap content and height should be slightly more than that than that of your screen. Set its resource and vertical bias should be zero. Its scale type should be I think center crop will be fine. Give it some ID to let's say image. Add the logo 100 dp width and height should be fine. For constraints, I will copy this and will paste it in here. Set the resource and vertical bias should be, I think, 1%. All right. Give it some ID to let's say logo. For the app name, you can also use a text view and give it some customized fonts. But in my case, I'm using an image view. I'll copy this again and we'll paste it in here. Except for a few changes, this should be constrained here and its vertical bias should be zero. All right. Then comes the loading animation. One thing to keep in mind that do not worry if you are not able to see your Lottie animation in your XML file. It will work absolutely fine when you will test the app in your mobile device. 
set the rest of the attributes like constraints I will simply copy this again and paste it in here except for its top constraint it should be constrained with this view set its vertical bias to 0% and give it some resource and finally give it ID to let's say Lotti set the autoplay to true and now we are pretty much done with our XML file go to Java file and declare the variable first we have three images a logo app name and background which we will name splash image then comes the loading animation go to on create method and bind these three variables with their corresponding views in XML file r dot id dot logo copy this and paste it three more times then change the desired text as I'm doing now we want our background image to slide vertically upwards and the rest of the attributes to slide vertically downwards so for this purpose I will write translate y to minus 1600 in the case of background image remove the extra parentheses and then dot set duration to one second in case you don't know 1000 means one second and then we will set the set start delay to four second copy this and again paste it three times and and we want the rest of our three variables to slide vertically downwards so for this purpose instead of minus 1600 we will simply write 1400 in all the three cases we don't want an action bar in our app so for this purpose go to styles and change this to no action bar and then run the app so as you can see our app is working pretty much fine the animation and transition both are working well but the onboarding screen is not designed yet we will hopefully design it in the upcoming video so this is it if you like the video make sure to press the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel either feel free to drop your suggestions and queries in the comment section i will get back to you as soon as possible have a great day i will see you guys in the next video